Hi everybody, it's Wendy Van Workham from the Lakeshore Museum Center coming to you with another episode of Your Museum at Home. Today I wanted to talk to you about a fun experiment that my kids and I did just the other day and it has to do with separating sand particles. Um, we were on a walk yesterday and we realized that there were some pretty big deposits of what looked like black sand on the beach. Um, and we know that typically our Michigan sand isn't black. It's kind of that nice, beautiful sandy color. Uh, it's typically made up of a lot of quartz. Well, there were some really, really big deposits of these black particles. We've seen them before. The kids have asked questions, but we've never done anything with it. So we went ahead and we collected a baggie's worth of sand to bring home and uh, mess around with and see what happened. Uh, so we were kind of conjecturing that the black particles might be iron ore in the sand. So we went ahead to test this and we got some magnets and we wrapped them in saran wrap so that these particles wouldn't get stuck to our magnets. And then we went ahead once the sand was dry and we ran those magnets over the top of our sand. We didn't touch the sand with it, we just kind of gently over the top maybe a couple centimeters away. And uh, when we did that, we started to hear this little ping, 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 ping sound. Um, and those black particles were attracted to the magnets. And so we were like, oh, maybe it is, maybe it is iron ore. Um, so we went ahead and we played on and off the rest of the afternoon with it. Um, we collected a whole lot. Um, my daughter Rowan tried to collect it with one magnet versus two or three or four to see if she could collect more with one or four. Um, my oldest son, Noah, once we had a big pile of it in another plastic dish, was running the magnets underneath. Um, if you have two magnets, magnets, you can see magnetic fields. It was really, really fun. Uh, so I went ahead and did a little research online, and I found out that we, we weren't right exactly. Um, it's not really iron ore that you're finding on the beach. In all likelihood, we most likely found some big deposits of magnetite, which is an iron oxide, and that's why it is... Uh, attracted to the magnets. Um, so if you want to replicate this experiment at home, it is a really, really easy one to do and it was a lot of fun. Um, those of you who are a little older than your kids, um, maybe remember the man with the magnet and you could do his hair and stuff, you could totally um, use this magnetite to make one of those yourself at home. Um, just do be aware if the particles get stuck to your magnets, it's a little bit of a mess. So I highly recommend the saran wrap. So from my home to yours, I hope you enjoyed this installment of Lakeshore Museum Center's Your Museum at Home, and I hope that you're staying healthy and safe. Um, thank you for joining us again, and we hope to see you back soon. Hey, Rowan, what are you doing? I'm collecting, collecting black sand that is iron. What are you using to do that with? Five magnets and saran wrap. Oh, do you have the saran wrap around them so that you can actually get the iron off your magnets? Yes. Oh, because otherwise it'd be pretty hard, huh? Yeah. 